What college did you play basketball at? I played basketball at Arizona State University. That's good. And <clears throat> I am still the all-time leading scorer and rebounder, male or female, in the history of the school. I scored over 2,300 points and got over 1,400 rebounds. And guess who else went there? That's amazing. James, James Harden. Harden. Yep. That's exactly. amazing. I'm kind of glad he left early, though, because he may have gotten me. <laughs> so how are your stats in the WNBA? Um, my stats in the WNBA were um, – I think I was averaging like nine points and maybe like five rebounds. It was at the end That's of my good. career because when I graduated from college, I had to go to Europe to play because there was no professional basketball. So I played in Europe for 12 years and then the WNBA started. Where did you play in Europe? I played six years in Spain. Y si yo hablo español también, si yo puedo hablar con vosotros en español si quieres, sin problema. I played four and a half years in Italy. Anche per l'italiano, perché giocate quattro anni e mezzo. Uh, I played one season in Japan, so I learned a bunch of phrases like konnichiwa, hokusaimasu, and things like that. And then I played one year in France. And then they started the WNBA, so I was kind of a veteran. I was actually 35, getting ready to turn 36 when I started the WNBA. So how so how did they get you to play for the WNBA since it was new? I got drafted. I was drafted in the elite draft, not the regular draft, but the elite draft. I was drafted in the same draft with Lisa, Lisa um, Leslie and Rebecca Lobo and... All of those guys. I've been living in the United States my whole life, mm -hmm. so I was just wondering when you went to play overseas basketball. Like, how, what was the transition for? Like, was it, was it hard because you've never been overseas. there before, and like you don't know how to speak the language? And, right. I, you, you know, know um, I'm originally from Louisville, Kentucky, yeah. and for that, and then so I left Louisville, Kentucky. I didn't want to go to the University of Louisville or the University of Kentucky. I left that area to go somewhere far. So I always had that spirit of travel in me. I always love to travel, so I was just looking forward to it. So, and the transition, I wanted to learn the languages, I wanted to eat the food, I wanted to just engulf and immerse myself in the culture. So I, I really looked forward to it. I was one of those players that looked forward to it. What, what was your, one of your most favorite moments playing in the WNBA, one of your highlights? Oh gosh, I have so many because we started it. Number one, the biggest highlight was the fact that we were drafted. And then the first game, we both teams, well, the L.A. team, was it was played in the Great Western Forum out in L.A. So we flew out a week before the game because you had all of the media, the hype, the buildup of the whole WNBA. And, you know, we were just on an emotional roller coaster. One minute we were so nervous because we knew that game was going to be played on CBS and we were live and the world was watching and it was our, finally our opportunity to play in America. It was at the Great Western Forum. I mean, I remember going in the locker room, in our locker room, because it was the way teams. And I was just set my butt in every stall, just rub my butt in every stall, thinking of all of the, the players, the, the amazing players that had come there. And, you know, and I was just sucking it up through osmosis, I guess, you know, and stuff. And so it was just... Um, amazing just to be a part of history out there shooting on the same court that so many greats had you know shot previously so that was one of them then making it to the finals that year uh, was another one although we didn't win but um, just uh, just so many just being there like finally I had played so long you know my, my family couldn't see me playing college because I went away and then I went straight to Europe and and you know so now they got a chance to see me and they felt so proud that you know while wow, she's on TV you know then you know be, yeah, getting voted in as the first um, starting center for the uh, first the inaugural uh, WNBA all-star game and you know, things like that just the, the you know the opportunities that came with meeting so many celebrities and um, you know, and just becoming an instantaneous um, mentor, you know, to so many people. A little girl, seeing, you seeing girls wear, you know, your jersey and just going to speak and having the opportunity and the platform to speak to young kids and to motivate and, to, and women and empower and things like that. So those are just a few of them. All right, last one. So talk uh, a little bit about what you know about Big Apple basketball and what brought you out here today to come check out the, the games and spend some time with the kids. Well, I really didn't know a lot because I didn't grow up in the area, so I didn't know a lot about Big Apple basketball. But when I met you, Jay, <laughs> I got a chance to look, you know, just to pull it up and, get, and, you, and you told me the story of you starting it and how you started it and your envision of, of just having a platform for kids to showcase their their abilities, you know, to coaches and, and, and another thing too, having teams from to come in from out of out of state. I have a daughter who's a freshman now. Uh, they're playing in the Rose Classic now uh, at the same time. So you have all these teams 
it's an opportunity for them to gain exposure but to measure themselves against other kids doing the same thing that they're doing so that they can understand oh gosh that team is really good you know I need to step my game up so it's like a measuring stick what you're doing and you're just exposing them to things outside of their comfort zone in their main area so um, I wanted to come in today and just see it, although this is for boys, you know, I hope that one day this will be something that will be extended to girls as well. And, um, you know, because, like for me, basketball has been amazing in my life. And to me, basketball, sports and athletics is more than just a game. I mean, kids can go to college, kids can gain career opportunities, and not everyone's going to go pro. I had the opportunity, and that might not happen for everyone, but people go to college. But Think about the rules. I mean, the lessons, that you, the life lessons that you learn. I mean, you learn how to win and lose. You learn how to speak and articulate yourself. You learn, learn at a very early age that I need to work on my ball handling skills if I really want to compete. You know, you learn how to communicate with your teammates. You learn how to own up and be honest with yourself. I didn't get my, I didn't work as hard as I could have. I'm not in as good condition as I need to be. No, I'm not working on my jump shot. I'm not doing anything extra, you know, so it, it's it's just amazing. So I'm, I'm just really excited to be here and to be a part of it and to kind of learn because I'm so pro mindset. Now I have to reel it back, you know, to go back to high school. And now that my daughter's in high school, I'm really just learning all about this whole high school level. But what I do know is, for me, it's super important that our kids have the opportunity to be exposed to the truth. And the truth is, is you have to put work into it. On the court, in the classroom, and you have to conduct yourself, you know, with humility and, and respect and, and honor, and you have to do things right even when no one is looking. And you just have to prepare yourself and to be ready for that senior year, you know? And I just know that when you do that and you do those things, you will be in a better position to pick and choose your opportunities versus having to just take what's there. So.